Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking, and we are jumping into some more Force of Will, back to where it all began with Crimson Moon's Fairy Tale, the first set ever for Force of Will. So the original OG here, we took a poll on Instagram between uh, Winds of Ominous Moon, The Return of the Dragon Emperor, and this bad boy, and pretty much 99% of you guys voted for this one. I think there's only one vote for Return of Dragon Emperor, so we're going to open this guy up. We're going to open half of the box today and the other half next week, so make sure to subscribe to see the rest of the box as we go through it. But let's, uh, let's jump into this thing and see what we can find. I'll use a knife this time, why not? Just to get it started. There we go. Now, I believe in this set, all the rares are foils. So whatever rare we get, it will be a foil, is what I believe I've been hearing. And I believe also that we should get about four J rulers in this one. Um, and some other really intriguing pulls, hopefully, because you can get some decent value in this pack. It goes for like 40 bucks. I got this one for 30. Uh, so very good price for this first set. And I know there's some good valued like foil magic stones and things. So those are the one gonna be the ones that we look out for here. All right, first pack, here we go. These packs are actually like really long. They got a lot of extra space up here, which is interesting. All right, let's get into this thing. See what we can find. The original set, Archer of the Crescent Moon. Murderous Snowman, ooh, Knight of Loyalty, Vampire Bats. Common, Common, Crucifix, a Buddha, Uncommon, Uncommon, Gretel, uh, Magic Stone of Darkness, looks pretty sweet, and Hamlin's Pied Piper as our rare. Weak looking artwork. Into the next pack. Boom. All right. King Servant, Rat Catcher, Pumpkin Witch, uh, Robe of Fire Rap, Rap, Rat, Rat. <laughs> And Juliet, the Hope as our super rare. Very nice. And behind it, Pale Moon Rare. Cool. And of course, these uh, these cards are still in great condition. Even for it being the first set, the card stock and everything is just phenomenal. Slipper of Cinderella, a branch, a resurrection of vampire. That card actually... Reminds me of the Magic Gathering, the card, uh, Bump in the Night. That's what that reminds me of. Magic Stone of Flame. Ooh, he's cool. The Golden Dragon, super rare. Ooh, that's nice. Behind it, Inquisition rare. All right. What can we find from this one? Let's do this. Cayuga, classic Dream of Juliet. Seven Dwarves, Cake Zone. Uh, that's an interesting one. Moot, moot. Moot. I can't talk. Moon Knight Pouncer. Nice werewolf. Return to the stories. A magic stone. Law of Silence. Rare. Very cool card. All right. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know why I'm so impatient. All right. There. False God. Close Taylor. Poison Apple. That's a cool card. Uh, Midnight Bell. Charles. Jewels on the Dragon's Neck. neck and Loop. Garu, the new moon. Uh, interesting, super rare. Uh, he's kind of cool. Good foils. And Light Palace, the King's Castle rare. Next pack. What will we find? We shall see. Squirmer of the Dark. Ooh, that is sick. I don't know if you can actually get any common foils in this set, but that would be a cool one to get. Uh, Granny by the Fireplace, Exorcist, Vampires. Let's see. Wolf Hunted in Black Forest. Okay. Ooh, ooh, very, very nice. Magic Stone of Black Silence Rare. I think this one might be one of the higher valued ones. I, I'm going to have to double check, but I know the rare, uh, the foil stones are, are pretty expensive in this set. Behind it, Spiral of Despair Rare. Into the next one. All right, Seven Dwarves. False God, Close Tailor again, a Pumpkin Witch, Blinded Prince, Elvish Priest, Bump in the Night, and Magic Stone of Darkness. Man, we've been getting a lot of the Magic Stones of Darkness. And Inquisition again. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. There we go. 
Close Tailor. I believe this is a pretty small set. Vampire Bat, that's a cool looking card. Uh, so we'll probably see a lot of doubles. Heavenly Feathered Robe, and ooh, there we go. Our first J Ruler, Bloody Snow White. That is really cool looking. We'll do the flip, but let's see what's behind. A nice Bloody Moon Rare. All right, all right. Let's see a reverse here. Snow White, very cool artwork. Really like that. And then less intriguing artwork on the flip foil side, which is unfortunate, but very cool. First J Ruler. All right, let's do this one. Cayuga, Dream of Juliet, Vampire Bat, Crucifix, Stone of Buddha, Prince Tudor, Magic Stone of Flame, and super rare Carmilla, the Queen of Vampires. She's sweet looking. Are those big ears or... She wearing something. She's wearing something. I thought those were her ears for a second. Behind it, Law of Silence again. Very nice. All right, guys. Leave a comment down below. What are your memories from opening this first set of Force of Will? Were you stoked about this? Were you unconvinced? How did it go? What was the first deck you made? Let me know in the comments below. All right. Drills on Jagged. Ooh, yeah. I wanted her. Helsing, the Vampire Hunter J Ruler. She is exceptionally cool really awesome artwork love that behind it spiral of despair again but just take a moment just take a moment the artwork is so good on this card oh really really cool so glad i got this one well that's two of our j rulers not bad and we're uh, only like halfway through this video so elvish bowman very nice very <laughs> emperor's new clothes he's goofy looking magic stone of wind and Atheos, the Three Musketeers. Very cool. Super rare. And behind it, Commander of Wolves. I'm already loving this set. This is this is a this is an awesome one to open. I, I figured I would enjoy opening this one. I may have to get another box at some point, but uh super cool. Really like the J rulers in this set. They started off strong, that's for sure. All right, Charles. Ooh, yeah, more magic stones, please. Earth's core, rare foil, very nice. And vampire staff as our rare. Keep it going, keep it going. We're on a good streak. That's right, that's right. All right, Elvish Bowman, Swallows, Magic Stone, and the Bloody Moon. Okay, all right, there we go, okay. Five challenges, basket, blood sucking impulse, like that guy's artwork too. He's a he's a good artist in these sets. Uh, rabbit kick, weird looking. Another magic stone of oh, the deep ones. I love Cthulhu stuff, man. Deep ones is awesome. He is a beefy boy. That's our super rare. Behind it, the demon castle. Very cool. Keep it going. Let's see what else we got in here. Fireplace. One inch boy, okay. And Midnight Bell, bump in the night again. Magic Stone of Darkness, <laughs> Cinderella, the Ashen Maiden. Excellent, beautiful card, look at that. Man, I would be stoked for this, I would be stoked. Behind it, Vampire Staff again. Funny story, actually, when this first came out, my wife uh, was shopping with me and she was like, oh, we should get these, these look cool. She's into anime and everything, so, I was like, eh, I don't know. I mean, it does look cool. The artwork looks really neat, but like, I haven't even gotten into magic yet. I, I want to learn that game before I get into any other, so we didn't buy it at the time. <laughs> and now look at me, just buying all of them. Magic Stone of Heat Rare. Heat, heat Rare? Heat Ray. <laughs> Very nice looking cool card. Behind it, Spiral of Despair. Ooh, I'm used to flying through packs now these last couple of weeks because we've been opening full boxes instead of splitting them in half. So this is our second to last pack here. Let's get into it. Impulse, Holy Grail, Romeo, Return to the Stories. Ooh, Magic Stone of Heaven's Rift. I really hope I'm like banking on all these stone cards. This is, uh, this is really nice. Behind it, Thunder, the Rare Foil. All right, last pack for this week. Like I said, subscribe, stay tuned. We're going to open up the rest of the box next week, and then uh, we'll see how we did with these totals here in a little bit. But let's get into it. Knight of Loyalty, Gretel, Laura, Stone, and yeah, just the Pied Piper again. Don't think he's worth anything. 
All right, here's our polls of the day. So far, we've got these stones, of course. Hopefully, these are worth some value. These are in no particular order because I can't memorize all the prices of these things. Cinderella, the Ashen Maiden, I know she's got a couple bucks value. Behind it, we've got our nice Snow White. And then my favorite card we've pulled so far, Helsing the Vampire Hunter. So totals up on screen for where we're at right now uh, as far as prices go. And yeah, this is already a ton of fun and I can't wait to get into the rest of these packs. So like I said, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe and stay tuned. We will see you guys next week in the next video.